What's up everyone, Garrett here from Code the Web, and if you guys remember the last video, we created this, the header section to our portfolio page. And in this video, we're actually going to be adding all of our images for the portfolio, and when we're done, it'll look something like this, right here, these images. Uh, and then in the next video after that, we will tackle the footer, and so on and so forth. But in this video, it shouldn't take too long, we're just going to be doing these images. So, um, let's get started. Let's get into Coda. And we will start coding. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up div and then id uh, container. And the reason we're going to do that is because if you remember in our index page, we had it, we had the container, and what it allowed us to do was to center everything. Same concept. Uh, we kind of did the same thing with this head section here, and so it allows us to center all of this stuff. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use container, but just for the for the body section or for the actual elements of our page. In this case, um, the portfolio, and then we'll do the same thing for the footer section. Uh, so now that we have that, let's start by creating div. This is going to be our first row, and so we're going to call this class one. And inside of it, we're going to have an image with a class of portfolio and a source of slash oh sorry slash images slash portfolio slash one dot jpeg we're going to copy that and the reason i i call my uh the images one it's just because I, I wouldn't normally do this. Obviously, I didn't do this with the logo or the background or anything like that. But just because um, there's it's a it's a group of images that we're going to have in a certain part of our site, a certain certain section of our site. So it just makes it a lot easier to call them by number because there's really no need to call them by name. And we're also going to copy this section three more times so we can have uh, four rows because we do have twelve images and we need uh, four rows of three so um, that's why we're doing this and then like I was saying with the numbers it makes it a lot easier this is part of why it makes it a lot easier because you can just you don't have to name everything you can just go through and change their numbers whoops cool so now if we go to here we can see that they're all here right these are all of our images so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the CSS and we're gonna start making it look nice or better so first things first we're gonna have a portfolio this is talking to the actual images directly and uh, yeah so this is gonna be a width of 300 px and a height of 250 px and then after that we're gonna have um, we're gonna add another we're gonna add another uh, class here and you can actually have two class you can have as many classes as you want inside of one class attribute or uh, for an image or uh, for an element rather the way you separate them is you from the class you already made you just have a you know space and then you type the class that you want so on every two and third picture second and third picture in each group or each uh, row we're gonna have this padding thing here and this is gonna make those two but only those two uh, have a padding on the left hand side so we don't want to have a padding on the left hand side from this first picture though we just want it to be from the, the second and third which would be the right one and the center one so we added that and now we're gonna have dot padding and this is gonna be padding left which you need a dash there padding left is going to be 46 pixels I know in the design it says uh, 50 but because of the we switched up the spacing back when we started designing this so we're only going to do 46 um, and actually believe it or not we're more or less really close to being done the only thing we have to do now is div actually we don't need that we don't need the div we can just do one um, margin 
top. And we can make this uh, 46 as well. And we can just literally, we can just copy this, whoops, three more times just like we've done before. Uh, make this three, make this four. And actually, on four, we're going to have. Um, do we want to have that? No. We'll save that for the next video. So now, if we refresh this, boom. Actually, wait, no, four. Why didn't that work? Because this has an S, that's why. Funny. I don't know why I put that S in, but it's also weird that I put the S in two in the CSS. So, um, so now this works just like how we want it to. It looks more or less uh, just like this, which is our PSD file. But there's one more thing that I want to do, which isn't really, we didn't talk about this at all yet in the PSD file or when we were making the Photoshop design or anything. But what I do want to do is add a certain, a little effect that makes it very modern. A lot of websites are doing this these days. So up here in our head, uh, is that right? Yeah. Up here in our head section, we're going to add something to our background where we have all these background elements. We're going to add something that's going to be background attachment. And we're going to call it, we're going to make this fixed. And watch what this does. This is a, um, a very, very subtle technique uh, that, that a lot of websites uh, incorporate. That's interesting now. So, hmm. I'll show you guys the technique because I mentioned it. So if we make this fixed, what happens is uh, the background stays attached and it kind of doesn't really move when we scroll. And that's I think that's a very uh, modern trend that people are using in their websites. However, if you guys noticed, um, having the background be fixed kind of made it full size and zoomed in. So we only really see the clouds here. And I don't really like that. So what I think we're going to do is just keep it like normal and that way you can actually see most of the sky and even some of the trees in the bottom and I think that looks better even if it's not you know the effect that I would want it to be which was the fixed effect um, I think it's okay I think it looks better this way actually so thanks for watching guys if you guys did enjoy the video definitely subscribe because we come out with videos like this every week really um, and rate comment if you have any questions, seriously comment. Also, feedback. I would love to know what you guys think of not just this video, but all my videos. So let me know in the comments or send me a personal message or whatever it is you want to do. But thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.